Pisces, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we have a reading for you. No particular subject, we're going to do my version of a Celtic cross. At the end, there'll be an opportunity for an extended where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your 12th house, this could be for you. Once again, thank you for the continued support in whatever format it comes, liking, sharing, subscribing. It, um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider it. It's the easiest and fastest way to grow the channel. It's very much appreciated. Um, thank you to Patreon members, all those that purchase private reads, extendeds, buy me a coffee, donations. It uh, allows me to continue doing this for you guys. It's very much appreciated. Cross watchers, you're more than welcome. The message may well be for you and all the information's in the description box. Just hit the more button below. Okay, Pisces, what's going on? Hmm. I just heard stuck in reverse. What does that mean? Eight of Wands. You seem to be diving into something here. Stuck in reverse. One more. Okay, we have the chariot. So there could literally be car trouble. <laughs> um, something not getting going. Um, the chariot is the vehicle. This could be your um, your light body, your Merkaba, your literal vehicle. Vehicle. It could be just. You might be getting steered in two different directions. It might appear that you're going backwards, um, hence stuck in reverse. What's crossing you? Root of the matter. Recent past. Ah, what you want. Okay, interesting. What's coming in? How you see yourself. How others see you. Advice. Okay, potential outcome. Okay. Okay. This month might be a little bit chaotic. And when I say chaotic, I kind of feel like it's internal. Um, we have the Princess of Pentacles, the Magician, Nine of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Four of Wands, the Hermit, Six of Wands, King of Cups, Ten of Swords, the Fool, and the World. Right, it feels like here, you might feel like you're going backwards in something. Um, it's actually in preparation for something that's coming in. And what whatever's coming in is pretty strong. So we've got the chariot. Again, it just feels like forward motion doesn't seem to be working at the moment. Um, like I said, it could literally be car trouble. It doesn't have to be. But this, it, it feels like you can't one step forward, two steps back. Although that's how it appears. Behind the scenes, there's a lot more going on. Crossing you is the, the high priestess. Now, every time I see the high priestess with a chariot, it speaks of counterintuitiveness. Um, Kind of like letting go for something to come back um you know you might be pushing and pushing and pushing in some sort of healing practices and in reality you need to just step back and integrate this feels like a month of integration if i'm honest um counterintuitive measures may sound completely random but they do work i've used it before think of a you know it boiled water freezes much faster than room temperature water is counterintuitive but it works so there's something here about putting your car in reverse something that just to take a step back because there's a lot of chaotic energies and i feel like for you guys you might have felt this um in particular the last couple of days 
the moon in Aquarius has done possibly you're possibly taking on a lot more emotions that aren't actually yours but the universe is trying to um, prepare you for something here root of the matter is the three of wands now the three of wands for me is the root of the matter is the ships are coming in uh, you're seeing a there's an expansion of some kind it's sun in aries but i'm kind of getting here um again i've said many times so apologies if i'm uh, uh, sounding like a broken record the ships can't come in when there's choppy waters so this is about balancing the head and the heart this is about um again integration getting to a point of um of trust that whatever's going on here is for the highest good in the recent past is the princess of swords the princess of swords is the researcher this is searching for answers this is uh, epiphany this is you know the spy um but interestingly the page of swords with the high priestess is, is a powerful psychic so you could be really uh, developing your psychic abilities and they might have come to a standstill and it might be giving you a little bit of frustration what you want is judgment you want ascension you want the fast process the healing the hearing the call knowing exactly what it is that you're supposed to be doing your true vocation what's coming in is the ten of cups now the ten of cups is mars in pisces so there is some mars energy that's coming to shake things up but what it's doing is it's breaking the clouds so whatever this is there is a process that's taking place where you're going to see things very very different this could be um an epiphany this could be um the crown chakra just lighting up and just in incoming downloads whatever it is you're being prepared for something here so you might appear that you're going backwards but the, the universe is actually saying right hold off we need you to integrate what you've already learned or what you're already you know achieved so far before we add more to you how you see yourself is the king of swords now the king of swords is very educated you might enjoy um learning you might enjoy just seeking knowledge you know this is the like i say the researcher the seeker of knowledge and the king of swords knows how to um uh, articulate it king of swords with the high priestess is a fantastic combination of knowledge intuition um but it, being able to interpret information and and express it to others in a clear concise way to make novice people understand whatever it is that you're teaching them so you've got a lot of skill here how others see you is the seven of cups though i think you may at the moment be in an energy of confusion it's venus in scorpio but it speaks very much of neptunian energy here so there might just be a lot of emotional energies flying around that need integrating your advice is the tower there's that mars energy so mars is coming in here to shake up pisces check out where um where mars is in your chart at the moment where would it be for you in your sixth house possibly possibly sixth house i've gone blank absolute blank i don't even know where mars is is it in virgo yeah six house um so you might be seeing was it your seventh house no it'll be six so you might be seeing your daily duties having to change uh, amend slightly um daily habits that type of thing your outcome and don't get scared at this is the seven of swords that's the moon in aquarius that's just happened the other day we have the nine of swords which is mars in gemini and we have strength. So your final card for me is strength. There is a process here of elimination. This is clearing out all the pain, clearing out all this worry and anxiety, um, shifting the energies. Interestingly, I'm seeing the two of swords. And the reason why I'm seeing the two of swords is the nine minus the seven. 
But interestingly, when I say about balancing the head and the heart, if you think the two of swords is the head, the heart, and then we've got the blindfold, this is trusting so much that you've got, you're speaking from your heart with the knowledge that you've got in your head. When it's in perfect balance, you don't need to see with this eye because you can see it with the eye. And that's the high priestess. So there's something that's kind of been not quite shown to you at the moment and it might feel frustrating but it's actually for your greater good there is some sort of massive change coming in with this mars energy and it is i don't know breaking illusions smoke and mirrors with the judgment card uh, but ultimately at the end of it you become very very strong very very powerful very very courageous let's check out where the two of swords is But like I say, it feels like the next maybe week or two is, um, I was going to say I wonder where the Emperor is, and it's with the Hangman and the Eight of Cups. So Saturn in Pisces, the Emperor is Mars, and then Hangman is Pisces as well. Mars is doing something very, very particular to you guys. Yeah, and frustrating, but you'll... It'll be worth it in the end. You'll the results will be phenomenal. This is just like a complete psychic upgrade. <laughs> yeah, you, you're going from like rags to riches. Two of Swords is with the Five of Pentacles and the and the Nine of Pentacles. You're just in a process here of um, of massive growth. Uh, when you balance that head and heart, when you don't need the blindfold, well, the blindfold is, is on, and, but it's not a concern because you're using your um, uh, your third eye, your crown chakra is wide open. You're just going to see ways out, ways out of low vibrational energies, ways out of lack mindset, ways out of financial difficulty, and you're doing a major jump. You're just going from like five of pentacles to the nine of pentacles. Wow. Okay. So, Pisces, this may feel frustrating. This may feel a bit of a shake-up. This may feel like um, there's an earthquake happening right underneath your feet. It is a period of integration. You may feel like you're going backwards, you're not. You're actually moving forward. You just, there's a lot going off behind the scenes. The High Priestess is doing all the work behind the veil uh, for you to ultimately transform into something pretty um pretty powerful okay interesting so pisces in your extended i, I want to see what the uh we'll touch on what the smoke and mirrors is because there is something here that needs to be addressed uh, but ultimately i want to see where you're actually being led to um so we'll take that energy, what we know, what we don't know, recent past advice and potential outcome. If you can join me, fantastic. If not, let me know if this resonates. We have Cancer, Cancer Pisces, Sun in Aries, um, Scorpio, Libra, Mars in Pisces, Venus in Scorpio, Aries and Scorpio, Moon in Aquarius, we have Mars in Gemini, we have Leo, Gemini, Virgo, Jupiter in Pisces, Venus in Aries, Virgo, Jupiter in Leo, Sun in Gemini, Gemini Aquarius, Capricorn, Venus in Cancer, Jupiter in Capricorn. We have swords, we have cups, we have wands, we have pentacles. Everyone's here, those are your standouts. Let me know. See you soon. Bye.